Hi there, Richard Matharu here. Welcome to today's show. Today I want you to, to really, we're going to examine this resistance that a lot of you face where you know you should be putting more action in or you, you've got this drive, you just don't really know how to channel it. I really think after today's video, I'm going to share something with you really important that will help take you a lot further towards solving that challenge and for some of you, way past it and towards success in your home-based business. So really important show today, really intriguing one. Stay tuned. I'll see you soon. Okay, so what I want to talk to you about is your decision making process. A lot of you base how you make decisions on the fear of failure as opposed to the pursuit of success. And I want to look at some reasons for that, how you can solve that. And actually, I'm going to include a resource that helped me have my first five figure month. Really something so simple, but but really effective. It's something by a friend of mine that will really help you. I'll share that at the end. But, but back to today and something really important. So a lot of you are... You know, maybe if you examine your past, it might unload, um, uncover rather, a certain amount of things for you, a certain amount of important points. And that is, you know, if you've been burnt in the past, maybe you know there's a product out there that could help you, but you're not going to buy it because someone you bought one in the past and it was a letdown. It's kind of like having a bad relationship and making your next partner pay. Nobody wins. You both end up miserable. The only person that wins is the idiot that burnt you in the first place. Do you realize that that past relationship, that past product, that past mentor, that past anything has no bearing at all on the behavior of the next product or the next mentor or the next person that you reach out to? None at all other than the attachment you place on it. Oh, I bet it's going to be like that time. That's you. That's you and you need to move past that. What happens if it's the same? What happens if it's different? What happens if that's the person that, that you need to be with, you were meant to be with business-wise? And you're just you're robbing yourself of them and you're robbing them of it. And more importantly, you're robbing all the people that you're going to help. Sounds massive, but this is what happens when you read real life success stories and, and mine included chance meetings. They're not chance. It's because you put yourself out there, pick yourself and dust yourself off. You know, this fear of failure, this pressure that you carry on yourself. You want it all in a box. Well, if I invest in this or invest my time or money in this and it doesn't come off, it's not guaranteed. What will I say? What will I do? I should have taken my kid out this weekend and I can't afford to do that now because I've, I've bought or invested this or I've put that time there. Wouldn't your child and be more benef benefited, as a real word, from you being able to take them out every weekend because of the steps that you took right now instead of waiting two or three months before you can afford it again? I've been in this situation, guys. I, I know how you feel. I know this fear and this pressure that some of you are feeling right now but that is in itself what is stopping you breaking past and just on a, on a smooth track or a smoother track at the very very least really examine what goes on up here and how you make your decisions you know i know from a fail from having a failing business in the past the minute you start to cut back on time money and effort because you want to look at your bottom line your top line comes tumbling down with it. It really, really does. You never see a gold medalist saying, I didn't put blood, sweat and tears in to get this medal. I didn't earn it. That's why they're in tears every time they win it because it's what it took. You never see a business, a millionaire saying, oh, I never got around successful people. I never learned about business. I never learned about anything. It just happened for me. It doesn't. You need to start putting in your head what you need products from this industry, from people who have results, from people who training that you like and who have the results that you want. You need to get around a team who's going to bring you up, not push you down. You need to get a mentor to speed up the learning process. You need to accept that time and money is a sliding scale. And if time is high, you can afford a little bit of money investment. If money is high, you can cut back on the time, but you're going to need both. You're going to need both. I'm just giving it to you straight. I want to give you what you need to succeed as opposed to what you might just want to hear from somebody trying to sell you something. So really take on board these points, guys. Really step back and think, how do I, how does you as a person take or don't take the action in your business and in your life right now? Are you a half empty or a half full kind of person? It's always the half full people that get success. And the more action you take, the more mistakes you make, the more progress you'll make, the more lessons you'll learn, the more valuable of a person you'll be, the more success you will achieve in every area of your life, without doubt, without doubt. And if you're watching this video and you're someone that is really like, I want to believe you, Richard, but um, you don't know my situation. You don't know this. I've been through this. I've got it really tough. I want to do this, but I can't. 
trust me on this one just click beneath this video this is something that really really opened my eyes up changed my entire attitude changed everything I never shot a video uh, I don't believe before I even looked at this and the confidence and, and everything just just changed about me my first five figure month from what I'm going to share with you in this video and especially in that link beneath this so go ahead and click on that and whatever you do go ahead create a date and a life that counts I'll see you in another show really really soon